chérie, c'est la paix, surtout la Louisiane. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Come on, sing it again, huh, man? No, I cannot sing no more. Never mind singing and just tell us about your country. Your mother's big house and all them dances you're always talking about. Yes, Armin, yeah. tell us about it. Go ahead, Armin, tell No, no. You're kind of the head man down there, ain't you, Armin, when you're home? Say, what's the name of that place, Armin? Today, uh, I cannot talk. Yeah, i never seen him like that before. Generally, it's a job to keep him from bragging. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mug. Hi. Oh, girl. Hi. Here. Where'd you get him? Not so loud, Sap. I made out some reports for the storekeeper. Jesus, here comes that speck. Now, Armand's a good kid. Give him one. Okay, Santa Claus, I'll give him one of yours. I'll remember that. You're one shy. Hey, Armand. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Anybody got a match? I'm out. No. I got one, Bill, I think. Yep, the last one. You see? Only for our we'd be three on a match. That's right, that's right, yeah, Bill. Right. I don't see. Now you've done it, you big dope. We are three on a match. Oh, I'm sorry, Bill, I didn't... Ah, uh, forget it. I don't like it, Bill. On the level, I don't like it. Sacre nom de no. Today, of all the days, Today. Ah, uh, he's just a little bit daffy. All them specs is daffy. What are you talking about? You're not even in on it. Oh, that's a mere superstition. That ain't nothing. This guy Armin's all right. I got a load of him last night. He croaked the dame down the line here for double crossing him. He's from a place called Barra Barracuda. Yeah, no, Barrataria Bay. Oh. His people are Cajuns, Acadians. You know, the people of Evangeline. Yeah, and his old age worth plenty of dough, lots of money. Yeah, I know, and she doesn't know he's in the can. He's using a phony name. He doesn't want to disgrace her. <laughs> Looks like Armand's been broadcasting his tale of wool. Oh, now, Bill, there's no reason for you to snare like that. A guy's got to spill his troubles to someone, or his heart will break. Yeah, well, you start telling yours to me, and I'll... Hey, he's coming back again. Listen, my friends. Tonight, be ready for the break. Six of us in the left wing. If I get out, I will open your cells. No wonder he didn't like that three on a match gag. I get it. I get it. He figures one of you three guys is going to croak. And he's got a better chance if he gets his all in on the break. He's got a lot of nerve, ain't he? Where are the 
the Imperial stables. That way, boss. Go through the gate, past the big barn, understand? Yeah. And then turn to the right. Thank you. And when you come out, we'll be waiting for you. I'm back following the ponies, and things are picking up right along. Oh! Hey, Mill! <laughs> I, I'll say they're picking up. Nah, this is only temporary. <laughs> this is only coffee money. Come around the front. I got everything all fixed. Okay. <laughs> Who's there? Who is it? I'm glad to see you. Bill! Well, you all horse thief, you! Boy, am I glad to see you! <laughs> Hello, Tony. Why don't you tell me how you're doing? How did I know? How did I know? Boy, you look great. You look great yourself. Come in the conference room. Right in the parlor. Watch your step now. You don't like it, huh, Bill? I tell you, it's a cracker box. I can open it with manicure scissors. And teaser can't lose. The race is fixed, I'm telling you. The safe will have at least 500 bucks in it. And the odds are four to one. So tomorrow night, we'll blow out of here with $2,000. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Sure. Let's get this straight. You're going to rob a safe, and you're going to bet the money in a horse race. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. I'm surprised at your mugs. Didn't that stretch up the river teach anything at all? Yeah, we're going straight, Bill, but... We gotta have capital to go straight on. You can't do nothing nowadays without capital. This is the last job and we're all finished. Didn't those days in the jute mill mean anything to you? What's the matter, you like it up there? I see you can hardly wait to get back. All right, Bill. Grab yourself a pitchfork, I'll talk to the boss for you. It's all right. Ah, uh, don't be a sap. I learned something even if you mugs didn't. I learned the smart guys stay out of the coop, that's all. I did a lot of thinking while I was up there alone. And it all adds up to this. But you take what you can get, but you're a sucker to try to beat the law. It can't be done. Well, you got any ideas? Sure. Get a load of that. That's Armin. Where'd you get that? I had to run to the warden's office. I lifted this out of the files. I thought I might pay to drop up to see his folks. They might like to know what happened to him. And that rich mother of his might even pay a lot of money for his very latest photograph. Hallelujah! That's what it is to have brains. Certainly. <laughs> when do we start? We? I got an idea your mugs are right where you belong. Shoveling. Oh, but Bill, I... I thought you said the idea was for us all to hang together like... Yeah, partners now, like... Now, relax, relax, will you? I looked you up, didn't I? I'm down here, ain't I? I'll go up to this place, Bear Terrier Bay. I looked it up. There is such a place. They can shrimp. Send it all over the world. Dried shrimp in bulk to China. Now, there's a woman runs the biggest cannery up there. And it must be Armand's mother, just like he said. Uh-oh. Well, you're gonna cut us in, ain't you? You're in. Only stay out. Well, Bill, uh, you don't mind while we're just waiting around here with nothing to do if I should uh, crack that crate I was talking about just to pass the time I away. sure would. Do you want the guy to get out of practice? Now lay off of that stuff or we split right here. Okay, Bill. But you're making me very unhappy. Hey, when do we get to Bear Terrier Bay? You're there now, pal. Are these the Cajuns? The shrimp fishers? That's them. Kind of poverty stricken, aren't they? Plenty. They make just up to buy food and a few clothes for the women folks. They're always in hock to the packers for their boats. Oh, it's the packers that do well, huh? Some do. Now tell me about an old lady up here that owns a big cannery. You mean Miss Minnie. She's a queer duck. Yeah. Came from Maine. Her father was captain on a coaster or something. They even called her Miss Minnie after she married a Cajun. For our platform, Miss Minnie's. Widow? Yes, husband died some time ago. Left her uh, pretty well fixed, huh? Okay, I think. We're landing there now. You getting off there? Yeah. I'm gonna look around a little bit. We'll get you on your down trip. Okay, boy. So long. So long.
Well, what do you want? Oh, good afternoon. Um, a package orients. Get off the low star just for a package of cigarettes? Well, not exactly. Just thought I'd like to look around a little bit. At what? Well, at your place here. I've never seen a shrimp platform before, and I... You're a liar, young man. Oh, I don't get you. I know just who you are and why you've come. Why? I thank you to get out. Uh, uh, say, listen. Go on, get. I don't want your kind around. Okay. And don't come back. Oh. 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 Wow. know my own strength. Oh, indeed. Pierre, where is he? Pierre, il a perdu le chapeau. Il est tombé à l'eau. Oh, donc. Ils oh. sont achetés en bois. Il court après son petit alligator. Oh, mon Dieu. Yeah? Uh-huh. Well, the next time I think a Cajun kid's drowning, I'll throw him an anvil. But that's what they're laughing at, don't you see? You couldn't drown Pierre if you tried. I swims like a fish. Well, what did everybody get so excited about? His hat, silly. Suzanne just bought it for him on St. Cecilia's Day. She wasn't afraid for Pierre. She didn't want to lose the hat. No, oh, what a country. Kids are cheaper than hats, I guess. Well, it's not that. Here on the platform, children must learn to swim as soon as they can walk. My brother Armand could swim before he could walk. You got a brother? Uh, those are his clothes. Um, won't he mind my wearing his things? No. He won't mind. And Armand uh, hasn't been heard from since? No. The last letter we got from him was from New Orleans. Oh, we need him so. Uh, business uh, bad? Things couldn't be worse. As a matter of fact, unless something happens, we're going to be losing this platform tomorrow. Losing it? Mm-hmm. You see, Mother owes some money. Unless she pays it, we're going to be sold out. Why, isn't your mother rich? Rich? 
What makes you think so? Well, nothing. I just got the idea somehow. Well, it's a good idea anyhow. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you mean your mother's broke? That she hasn't any money at all? Well, that's the general notion, Mr. Uh, Drexel. We're going to be put out of here tomorrow, unless a miracle happens. And nowadays, no one expects a miracle. Well, that's certainly tough. Tough on everybody. I can't tell you how sorry I am. Sarah? You better get along up to the store. Mother. Hmm? Go along with you. Please. Get. Yes, here, young man. What are you doing here? What do you want? Well, I came down here on a speculation, you might call it. I heard about this country, and uh, I thought I might make some money. I guess I was wrong. Then you're not from the sheriff's office. <laughs> Anything but that. Well, the Lone Star stops on the down trip at 8 o'clock. You better get aboard. We've got no accommodations here for the night. It'll be a pleasure. Hiya, Bill. How's it, sweetheart? Hey, didn't I? Hey, look at your boat. It's drifting away. Well, come on, do something, you mugs. That's all right. Let it go. We don't want it no more. Why? What? Come clean. What is this? We swiped it, Bill. That's when the cops was after us. Look, they shot a hole in my coat. What a swell pal this mug turned out to be. Yeah, yeah and your horse finished first, didn't it? Pick horse. You couldn't even pick your own teeth. All right, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Shut up, will you? Come on, what is this? We done it, Bill. You was right, Bill. We shouldn't have. Did what? Come on, spill it. We cracked the safe just like you told us not to do. Empty? Certainly not. I got this stuff all right. You're gonna pen on me, bro. But this lug's horse runs last. Yeah, depend on you. Depend on you leaving your handprints all over the safe. And there's nothing outside the zoo with a pair of mitts like yours. I didn't. So naturally, they tail us down to the racetrack. And we takes it on the lamb. Out the back way, with the cops blazing away you think it was the 4th of July. So we grabs off this here yacht, and here we are. <laughs> you certainly was right, Bill. We shouldn't have. Bill, we ain't ate since last night. You ain't sore at us, are you, Bill? No. That's <laughs> swell. <laughs> you ain't sore. How's your racket shaping up? Great. Simply great. Armand's mother hasn't got a nickel. As a matter of fact, she's being put out of her house tomorrow. Oh, Fred, you ain't kidding us, are you? No. You see? You see? That's what it is to have a brain. I'll lay off, will you? We're still a good idea, kid. Gee, this is a catastrophe. <laughs> Pigtail Navy. <laughs> hey, Charlie, how's it for a bowl of chicken chop suey, huh? Come on! They said no! Hey, they can't get away with that. Hit him on the in the head here. I close it mouth so hard you have him. Shut up, will you? Let's see what's given out here. Looks kind of funny. Come on. Go on. Go on, you little There it is. That's your year, net loss. Understand then, Miss Minnie cannot pay tomorrow, is that so? That's right, Sam Key. I can't pay you. 
Very sorry. Very sorry. Most regretful. I'm speechless for words. Well, don't strain your gizzard trying to find them. Come in. I'll show you the books. Il a besoin d'un couteau dans le cœur. Oui, oui. Tu sais bien qu'il est en règle avec le bois. Allons, ne fais pas le bête. Allez, sortez tous, allez Mais non, mais non, mais non, mais sortir d'ici. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tell me in English. <laughs> Who lost the hat this time? There's no joke about this. Sam Key's the man we owe the money to. He'll buy the place in at the sale tomorrow. Mm. No fun in that. How much is it? Too much. Anyway, there's no chance we can pay it. L.A., L.A. Hello, baby. You haven't got a stick of gum about you, have you? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Gum. Gum. <laughs> Wait a minute. I said gum. Something you chew. Hey, hey. You think they keep postal savings here? What are you, daffy all together? First we found Sam Key was taking some of our best fishermen, paying them higher wages. Then we found nets slashed to pieces in the waters. Finally men began to disappear. One or two of them were found floating in the bayous. Racketeers even down here, huh? I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Go on. That's all. Except that Mother had to borrow money to carry us through the off-season. Her notes turned up in Sam Key's hands and... Well, that's all. Don't take it so hard, kid. There must be some way of beating the rap. <laughs> I mean, uh, extricating yourself from your difficulties. I wish I knew what it was. Fifi, avait des yeux à faire pécher des dieux tellement il s'était bleu. Ce jour était rouge comme le pont. C'est le qui a causé la chute des hommes. Fifi avait des pieds menus, c'est c'est léger. Seigneur, comme elle dansait, elle n'en avait pas ça. Faudrait pas ça. Fifi de Fontainebleau. Voilà. <laughs> Very good. Now, honey, tell me, what does that mean in English? In English, it's not so nice. <laughs> Hello, folks. <laughs> Dinner ready? Who is this man? I don't know. I never saw him before in all my life. He must be a river rat. You haven't got a hunk of cheese on you, have you? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the matter with you? Tell her who I am. I never saw you before in all my life. Saw, saw. Certainly I'm saw. My pal betraying me like this. Think of my embarrassment. Saw, saw. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'll run you for the last name. Say, honey, tell me. Do all you dames carry a frog sticker like that? Oh, I'm sick. No, monsieur. I am what you call the chef de cuisine. The cook. The what? The cook. Oh, you are disappointed. No, honey, I love you more. <laughs> I got an idea. I like you. You're nice. I sing some more for you. No, honey, don't <laughs> sing. Don't <laughs> sing. I heard you sing. You got a beautiful verse. But the thing is, can you cook? Let me see you cook something. Come on, cook I anything. I cook for you a stew. <laughs> Two? A stew of the country. It is made of shrimp. shrimp. And it is made now. of onions. Onion? And it has garlic. Oh, monsieur, it has plenty of garlic. Oh, monsieur, that stew, she smelled to heaven. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I remember your face, but I can't think of your name. I can think of a name for you. What I can't understand is why Sam Key's so hot to get this platform and he's got one of his own. Well, this is the only one that connects to the mainland. You see that shell road? Mm-hmm. That's been in use a uh, hundred years or more. Mm. Lafitte, the pirate, used it. Why, this is the oldest landing on the bay. And still further back, in the time of Evangeline, that road was in existence. See, that was in 1765. Why, you are clever. <laughs> well, I, uh, I've been making sort of a special study of the country. Had a lot of time on my hands lately. Say, that reminds me. What are you doing here, anyway? Me? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, at the moment, trying to make up my mind. About what? About whether your eyes are brown or black. Tell me. I'm serious. I mean it. And those two other men. 
They're not your friends, surely. <laughs> well, let's call them traveling companions. We're just, uh, traveling. They do seem interested in that road. I wonder why. I wonder. Just about hit, ain't it? Long time. Spring buying. I stopped off in New Orleans for the races. Now I'm sadder but wiser. Maybe they didn't took me good on oh, robbers. There was a horse there called Teaser, and I bet him he'd win. And you know what happened? When the race is over, they had to send fellas out to push him off the track so that they could run the next race round. <laughs> <laughs> Never again for me. When I got home, I found your letter waiting for me. All oh, such a business. You know, this horse Teaser. Mr. Ambrose, can you do something for us? Can I do something for you? Can I do something for Miss Minnie? <laughs> My old friend, Captain Hardy's daughter, <laughs> that I've known since infantry. <laughs> you know her father? Sure, I can do something, and I will do something. I'll meet the interest on your note before the sale begins tomorrow morning. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ambrose. Thank you so much. I've learned what I wanted to know, and I'm most happy, Miss Minnie. Yeah, happy as a dry skunk at a picnic. Now get off my platform. Clear out, you half-breed thief, or I'll give you the first bath you've had in 20 years. Scat! Jock! What do you want to do? What you want to do? How's the mulligan coming along? Okay, well, I go for it. <laughs> Burn up my clothes, honey. I'm here for the winter. Little <laughs> a war declared? Dame to do that to me. Says you. <laughs> they couldn't put you in jail either. <laughs> hey, honey, what's the matter? <laughs> I have no time for you. This I'm is hungry. Good. I want something. I must prepare the Honey, I want something. Oh, I have no time for you. <laughs> I'm too long now. What are you, a lunatic? Out, out, out. Now, wait a minute. Will you touch? I want to ask you something, will you? You know, I remember your face, but I can't think of your name. <laughs> thought that noise come from a horse's head. I stopped to feed them in the hotel. <laughs> you certainly got yourself into a stew, all right. Well, you can't kill a guy for trying, can you? Hey, who's the old guy? Him? Oh, that's an ex-soldier. He was in the infantry with the old lady's father. Is that the truth? You know, it smelled a little like clam chowder, and then it didn't. It was a sort of a curry. Ah, button your lip, will you, before I heave you off the dock? All the good it did you, it could have smelled like the bottom of a bear cage. You don't mind if a guy dreams, do you, lowlife? Oh. 
Well, what are you doing here? Why aren't you getting ready for the party? Huh? Party? Party? Uh, just a little difficulty. We weren't invited. Why, everyone's invited. Come on, get ready. This is Suzanne's making jambalaya. Uh-uh. Oh. I know there's a catch in it somewhere. Come on, oh, come on. Oh, I don't God, know. Right. Be so bad. <laughs> You know this tastes a little more like curry than chowder at that. Gonna take you nine helpings to find that out? I was pretty sure after the seventh. How do you like it? <laughs> oh, it's all right, honey. This stuff is pretty good. This is all right. But what you need is a dash of Worcestershire. Listen, girlie, I think it's perfect. Just the way it is. Uh, uh, what is it you want? Worcestershire, honey. Worcestershire. Woosh. Woosh. Maybe I get him in the store. Uh, how do you spell it? W-U. <laughs> Make it catch it. I get it for you. Attention, jeune homme, Sarah. Il est dangereux. Taisez-vous. Il est très gentil. Yes, Miss Brad. They're black tonight. What are? Your eyes. More black than ash buds in the front of Mars. That's Tennyson, isn't it? Do you read Tennyson? <laughs> Not lately. Do you? Well, we haven't many books. But I've read and reread those we have till I know them all by heart. <laughs> quiet now, quiet, please, everyone. Ladies, gentlemen, uh, shrimp catchers. <laughs> I I I want to, I want to say a toast. You see, I want, I want that you should drink with me to, the, to a very estimated lady. The finest woman in Barataria, in Louisiana. The finest woman in the whole world. Miss Minnie. Oh! Oh! but I can't do it. I, I, I got to be here the first thing in the morning with real money. Uh, you know what I mean? I got to have gold and banknotes. That's the law. Code Napoleon. <laughs> if I'm not here the first thing in the morning, Miss Minnie, she loses her home. That's what? Oh, oh, Miss Minnie oh, will lose her home. Think of it. Everybody, all of you, think of it. Miss Minnie loses her home. Huh? <laughs> But she won't, because I will be here in the morning with the money to save her, to save her. Come on, how we go? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. I'm going to leave you now.
I'll just wait an hour, Miss Minnie. Sale will be at 11 o'clock instead of 10, gentlemen. And others? He said he'd be here. When Julius Ambo says he'll be here, he'll be here, Miss Minnie. But what are we going to do if he doesn't come? Now, don't borrow trouble. He probably overslept. He sure looked like he was headed that way when he left here last night. That's right. I guess I'm just foolish. Sure. That's beautiful, Garley. Say, what kind of a barge is this, anyhow? Want some company? <laughs> I read about guys like you. Down in your coop, Fido. Let's play hide and seek. Use hide and uh, I'll seek. <laughs> no? Well, how about a little game of post office? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hiya, Fu Banchu. Uh, nice boat you got here. <laughs> nice uh, ladies. And a swell visit. Everything's been perfectly ducky. Thanks for the invite. Go forward. Get forward there, Lloyd. Are the authority vested in me by the state of Louisiana? Look out there! Look out there! Just kill me now and yet! Good heavens, Mr. Ambrose, a fine man. No man knows the hour when the white gates shall open for him. Oh. Item seven. One store building called Miss Minnie's store, together with all stock and fixtures of whatsoever description therein contained. And specifically all groceries, wear and apparel, hardware, agricultural, and marine machinery upon the shelves and in the warehouses of said store on said date. Item eight. Seven dwelling houses attached to the said store. I know, but Suzanne won't like this. Suzanne. Suzanne, what's she got to do with it? Well, you know how women are. When they cook for you and they sing for you and the like of that, they think they own you. This is sort of a fiend. Can it, will you? 
You get down there and entertain them dolls. And whatever you do, keep them away from that cabin door. I'll do it, but it's against my principles. Item 12. Girls, look, I want to show you something. Come here. Look, I gotta. I want to show you some car tricks. Don't go away. I wouldn't hurt you. I wouldn't hurt you for a million dollars. Now, look, girls. Is that good? Now, look at this. Now, watch close. You see? <laughs> Isn't that good? See, I know a lot of tricks like that. Now, come on over here. There's more light. Come on over. The light's better here. Now, look. You see? No, I won't do that. I'll do another one. Item 13. Six double horde skips, each more detached. Make for me, keep the top overall. Item 14. No matter where you hide it, I'll find it. <laughs> you hide the pocketbook. Now, don't look inside of it. Do as I tell you. Hide the pocketbook. You understand? Hide it here, 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 hide. No matter where you hide it, I'll find it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh, go ahead. Ready, girl? Ready? Yeah. One. Ready? Go. Not there, is it? Not there? Shake hands. That's it. Shake hands. You see? Good? <laughs> Is it good? Look at Shorty. You hide the pocketbook. No matter where you hide it, I'll find it. Now you hide it. Go ahead, you hide it. No, come here, girl. Come here. Now wait a minute, girl. Girl! Wait a minute, will you please? Will you get back, please? Will you get back? Do as I tell you. Will you get back? Now, girls, listen. Now here's the pocketbook. Go ahead and hide it. Hide it now. Go ahead. Is it there? Shake hands. How are you? Shake hands. There it is. <laughs> Satire. Suzanne, wait a minute. The whole thing is a business proposition. Strictly a business proposition. I'll explain it to you later. I'll explain it to you later. Girls, get back, please. Will you get back? You know I'm nervous, girl. Look, look. There's an apple for you. See, that's for you, and that's for you. You understand? And this is for you. Look, girls. Good? <laughs> hey, Gabby. So, girls, I got something new. I got a whole new thing. Now, you close your eyes and hide, and you'll find me in there. Now, turn around and count. Yeah, yeah, turn around and count. Now, count. Yeah, that's it. How about The amount of judgment in this property is $3,640.20. I will receive any bids above that amount. If there are no bids, I will declare the property sold to the judgment holder, Captain Herbert Orkney. Do I hear any bids? Bid, Bill, bid. What's the matter with you, you crazy? It's in your back pocket, sat bid. What? No bidders. I declare this property sold hey, to wait, 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 wait. I bid three thousand six hundred and forty-one dollars and twenty cents. Wait. Sold to the gentleman on my left. I protest. I had no chance to bid. You do? Who are you? The judgment holder is Captain Orkney. You had as much chance to bid as anyone. I tell you, I... And I'm telling you... I'll handle him. <laughs> There you are. What's your blige, mate? Yeah. Sign it. Say, who are you pushing, Excuse Marty? Excuse me, I wouldn't hurt your feelings for a million dollars. Excuse well, me, watch please. who you're crowding around here. There you are, you heathen. I guess that'll hold you. And that goes for you, too, you half pint of monkey juice. Thank you, Mum. I bet it's mine. Hey there, Marty, go forward. <laughs> there you are, young man. Okay, thanks, Sheriff. Well, I knew you came for more than a pack of cigarettes. Well, what now? I just didn't want to see one put over on a game old girl like you. Quit blowing. 
I don't know where you got your money. Probably stole it. Anyhow, the platform's yours. Well, the property's worth a lot more than I paid for it. You know that. If you'll have me, we'll go in as partners. What do you say? That you're a fool. But I'd be a bigger one not take advantage of you. Come into my office. <laughs> Uh, well, it'll all amount to the same thing unless you've got money to go on with. There'll be expenses. Well, I'm afraid I can't do much more. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There you are. That's for a dame I know in Cincinnati. <laughs> That's for another twist I know. There we are, Tootsie. Let it alone, it's only a ten. Hey, where'd you so get you that? you didn't what do nothing I wouldn't do. I what? got it off a shrimp. Oh, I mean, who'd have thought that young bloke had that much tin? Bong on, fight off, fight off, fight off. Maya, koya mahiya, no yoro. Maya, koya maya. My word, it's empty. Money, 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 money. It's gone! Hoya, come here, hoya. Maya, I didn't mean walking in. Kaya, hmm? Maya, it's gone. Don't get it. 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 Well, that's that. What, more? What I don't understand is why do shrimps raise as large families? Just to be. And I don't like you either. Well, here we go, Tuts. Come on. The deep water gang do as well as these fellows. We'll have close to six tons of shrimp on the platform tomorrow. It's wonderful what you've done, Bill. Ah. Uh. Oh, I, I was just thinking how different things were four weeks ago. <laughs> oh, it gives a fella a kick at that. And a girl, too. What? Gives a girl a kick, too? Gives a fella a girl, too. Both, I'd say. Gas, mister? No kidding, Sarah. We've got to talk. But, Bill, I... You don't know anything about me. Nothing except I think you're the finest, squarest man I've ever met. Yeah? Well, I'll give it to you right between the eyes. I'm a crook. I came here straight from prison. I came here to rob your mother. Why, Bill...
But don't you see? All that makes no difference. Since you've been here, you, you've been marvelous. Don't. That isn't all. I haven't any right to... Sarah, I'm married. Oh. It's a pretty sordid story. I'm not proud of it. Back in college, I drank a lot. Ran wild and all that. It was a girl. Waitress. I haven't any excuse to offer except that I've been drinking. Caught us in a cheap hotel. My father came down from Boston. He was pretty badly hurt. Said some harsh things. One thing led to another. I married him. Spite, I guess. Well, there was a grand blow-up. No need to go into all that. We wound up in New Orleans to Mardi Gras. My money was gone. She left. I was drinking and broke. I got drawn into a robbery. Silly corner grocery affair. They caught us. Guns. You must have been in the Navy. No cracks. So long, you all. Going back soon? That's what I came up to find out. Watch your stuff, there. Okay. Hey, come there. Hiya, sweetheart. What's that smell around here? None of that. You like shrimp, don't you? Sure. But don't turn your nose up at him. Okay, shrimp. Shrimp. I was like a whack in a snoot. One dozen gold star. Si du zen perfection. Six dozen. How do you do? Well, what is it? Fact of Orients. What, another? What do you mean? Well, let it pass. Going inland? Well, not right away. Boat calling for you? Nope. Then you must be going swimming. Because we ain't got no accommodations for strangers here. I don't swim a stroke. I'm hardly a stranger. I haven't got a calling card, but here. Maybe this will do instead. Mrs. Drexel? Bill's... Wife. B Bill Drexel's wife? Well, I am glad to see you. Bill never mentioned you. I guess he was keeping it for a surprise. Because he was. Well, well... Come on in. Right in there. Sarah. Remember, only one thing matters. I love you. Yep, my girl thinks Bill, Mr. Drexel, just about the finest man that ever lived. That's a good idea, but it can be carried too far. Oh, pshaw, Mrs. Drexel. You should see my girl. She's nothing but a child. Nineteen, did you say? Mm-hmm.
Ruby. Sweet William. Surprised to see me, old kid? Sarah, I want you to get some clean sheets and fix up that cabin down here at the end. How'd you get here? Let me give you a tip. Don't ever write letters. Uncle Sam's got a bad habit of putting postmarks on them. I see. Well, if you got my letter, you know what it says. I don't want... I know you are tired, Bill, so I'm having the cabin fixed up for you. It isn't much, Mrs. Drexel, but it's the best we've got. Miss Minnie, I want to tell you that... Bill, I am tired. Besides, I have a lot to say to you. Come on, let's go. Sarah will show it to you. Sarah! Oh, uh, this way. What's the food, monsieur? Thanks, it's ain't our medicine. What is it, Bill? Supper. Am I hungry? I'll be out in the jiffy. I thought I told you to keep this door shut. Oh, Bill, it's suffocating in here. Yeah? I hope it's choking. Say, Bill, I haven't time to dress. Will you pass my robe in the grip, the green one? Oh, get it yourself. There's nothing stopping you. But maybe Bill loves her. Did you ever hear her love? Yeah, yeah. Listen, do I know a tramp when I see one or don't I? <laughs> you ought to. You live with them long enough. Say, leave my family out of this, will you? Now, the question is, what are we going to do about it? Do? Who are we to fight nature? Maybe that old cabin back there is a little love nest right now. Well, if it is, Papa Bird has flew the coop. Look at there. Is it permitted to offer the congratulation, Monsieur Capitaine? By all means, Raoul. <laughs> Congratulations are certainly in order. I thank you. If he's a happy Romeo, I'm a horse's ear. Yeah, that's possible too. Certainly. See for yourself. I call that a bit of all right. The hunter spreads the net, and fate sends the quarry. <laughs> Well, all I can see to do is to push the dame off the end of the dock some dark night and say nothing. But after all, Bill might not like that. He's funny that way. Well, let's go buzz him about it. Okay. Hey, Bill! Where is he? He couldn't have went back to the cabin without passing us. No. What's this? That's funny. Look. Come on, let's go. Wait a second. Now don't act 
Billy. Wait a second. Are you ready? Come on, hurry up. All right. There we go. Take your time. Don't get excited. Take your time. All right, neighbors. Let's go. There we are. Get together. Get in. Right. There we are. Now. Now. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You got the wrong idea. We're going backwards. I got the wrong idea. Say, who's running this pump? Turn around, will you? Uh -huh. Turn around. Oh, for heaven's sake. Are you ready? Go! There we are. All right. Now it's better. Now it's better, you see? Now it's the same way. Well, turn around. Uh -huh. Come on, will you? There we go. Stupid. Go far there, Mike. Swamp my What do you make of it, mate? Emigration cutter. No doubt of it, sir. Well, we can't stand the search. That with the cargo we got aboard. Full speed ahead. Aye, aye, sir. Show them we mean business. Them guys ain't throwing cream puffs. Suppose one hits the boat, what am I gonna do? Don't worry, you'll do it. Give him another one. That's the Moonflower, all right, but she's not stopping. That means our tip was right. She has got smuggled Chinamen aboard. Yes, and Sam Key's just the baby that'll chuck him overboard if we give him time. Give her all the speed we've got. Get out. Get out. Yeah, you're the owner, sir, and orders is orders, but this has gone far enough. Tiny! 
Give me a hand. Give me a hand, Tony. Give me a hand. Anthony. Tiny. He's coming too. You can't keep a good man down with all his hardware. That's it, Bill. That's it. Tiny. Tiny. Pal. I thought you made the grade. Tiny. 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 Speak to me, Tiny. Speak to me. It's okay. For a minute, I thought I swallowed me chew. <laughs> oh, get that. What's the matter with that dope? Hey, Bill. Where's Bill? He's okay. I'm going to search your boat. Go ahead. Come on up for We know you picked up four Chinese off the Mexican coast last week. Where are they? Someone has lied. And they start throwing the Chinamen overboard one by one. If they threw over any more, they wouldn't have any more laundries. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I get it. That road. Miss Minnie's. That's what it is. Say, say, if it wouldn't be betraying the confidence, will you let us in on what you're thinking? Listen, Sam Key wanted Miss Minnie's platform because that shell rope would give him the only free access to the mainland. That shrimp business was all bunk. Why, a thousand dollars a piece, he'd, he'd have a gold mine running Chinese in from Mexico. Oh, I see. We own the platform, don't we? Why can't we branch out? Certainly. I'll get a million now, Chinamen. Wait a, minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before we go into that, I've got a little matter I want to settle. Come on, let's get going. Okay. Roll, Tiny. More, tiny. Roll now. Come on, Gabby, let's go. All right. Heave. All clear, sir. You're just lucky this time. What is luck but the reward of the deserving? Wait on it! Hold everything! Oh, my... Simple enough. There's no mystery about it. Bill ran out of me before and he's run out again. And the other two tramps went with him. And without a word. I can't believe it, Bill. Mm, and that Gabby, if ever I lay my hands on him, the son of a pig. Uh, it beats me. I can't believe that Bill Drexel had run away. Oh, maybe he'd come back, monsieur. Oh, monsieur. Uh, uh, Well, well, why, it looks like... Hello, howdy, Ed! Well, that's Sanford of the New Orleans Detective Force. Oh, well, howdy, Ed. Howdy, Gene. Howdy. <laughs> this Mr... Uh, Lodge. Glad to know you. How do you do? Well, Ed, what are you doing in this neck of the wood? Oh, we're looking for a young fellow. We yeah. Holy cats. What's the matter? Oh, nothing. I think I'll go up and fix up my makeup. 
Regardez, voilà le monde, ça va. You're all dressed up, huh? All you need is a rope necktie. Thank the golden. None of that now, don't get dirty. Thank you. Who? All he wants to do is play a little. Oh, Bill, what is it? What happened? Plenty, dear. It was like this, I... Lodge. Who is it? Mr. Lodge, my father's lawyer. Oh. Hello, Mr. Lodge. Hello, Bill. Anything wrong with father? Nothing, except he's had me scurrying over half the South looking for you. <laughs> he wants to hear from you, Bill. I guess we were both a little hasty. He's paid for it. Why don't you make it up to him now? He's a grand old chap. I know. I know he is. He'll never have to worry about me again. Hey, wait a minute! Why are you going to that car? Come back here! Mr. Lug, he's got your car! Why, what? Why, it's Ruby! <laughs> I think perhaps the young lady recognized me. What do you mean? I had quite a long talk with her in New Orleans when I first picked up your trail. Well, I want to explain. I... First, let me tell you something that probably you don't know. She divorced you right after you got into trouble.